Recently, I decided to take a drive across this country. With my friend Owen, and we were going to drive every car that we could get our hands on. So we started off with old mobile. <laughs> we had to get out of Dodge. And it had to be an affordable cruise. We started during the summer solstice near Plymouth Rock. Our final destination, Tucson, Arizona. Where the mercury consistently shot up to over a Honda degree. <laughs> Our first stop was Northern Virginia, or Nova. From there, we traveled like a nomad toward Colorado. Now, I, as an explorer, rode right, rode right on the edge of suburban sprawl. <laughs> Near our expedition outside Tahoe. Near the Aztec Reservation. There the Indians relayed their latest secret weapon. They had these long arrows with tiny cameras mounted at the tip. They called them Camaros. <laughs> Shortly after they told us of this secret, they realized their mistake, and we thought they were going to tar us. <laughs> but we managed to escape using our compass to get away from the commander of the Cherokee, otherwise known as the Grand Cherokee. <laughs> and man, was he deep. <laughs> he forced us to make a tribute near Moreno, where we saw a wrangler who tied up rabbits for a living. <laughs> Unfortunately for him, a falcon swooped from the sky with laser focus and scooped up one of those rabbits. But you know what? He missed a beetle. And the new beetle by a galaxy before soaring off to infinity. <laughs> Next, we made journey to El Dorado. And in the desert, I saw a mirage of pintos and a snake. Now, even though they were phantoms, I managed to dodge each and every one of those Mustangs. But not the Cobra. <laughs> Shelby, our escort, pulled out his Colt, a 45 caliber, I do believe, and he struck that Spitfire. <laughs> Next, we found ourselves near Silverado, just outside Las Vegas, <laughs> <laughs> where Neon lit up the tundra. continued on our little journey up over the mountains. We traversed avalanche country headed to the Malibu Grand Prix where we were to be entered as challengers. It is there we met my imp pal La <laughs> who was a mentor of many Star Wars playthings. I, as his protege, simply called him my Toyota. <laughs> now, La had studied the internal workings of animals to get his veterinary degree, and he created an odd specialty called Corvette. <laughs> now, we spent the night there, and we had dinner with his brother, Royce. And at dinner, I said, would you please pass the rolls, Royce? <laughs> now, Royce and his brother-in-law did not get along well because Royce loved to throw parakeets into hot embers for fun. This fusion of firebirds was the last straw in their relationship, and Lot had a fit, and he told his brother Royce to chivet. <laughs> so 
but now with three passengers in Corinthian leather, by the way, we headed to Cordoba. There we made a discovery at an antique shop. And I bought a cutlass and a French sword known as a La Sabre. These were regal pieces, one belonging to the crown, Victoria, and the other to a grand marquis who had lived on the French Riviera. We passed up on a statue of Bruce Lee. It was dinged up and it listed to the side. And my thought process was, who wants a Ben Lee? <laughs> Next, on a whim, we jumped out of an airplane with parachutes and hit the ground. We were not skydivers, no, we were Highlanders. <laughs> this skylark proved we were not aviators. But we did manage to impress many people, including one ranger. We knew that because we heard this forester shout, You go! You go! <laughs> Our fiesta soon came to an end with a round of golf in Santa Fe, where we met up with our friend Edward. Edward rounded out our RAV4. And Edward sold homes in Bel Air for ten times their worth. We used to say about him, look at Ed Zeller. <laughs> now this golf course was like none, no other ones. It was sort of hippie like, but it did require a blazer to play. There are no fairways or sand traps, only fair lanes and dusters, which led us to the conclusion that we should hire a caddy to help us. It wasn't after maybe three holes that we realized our caddy lacked knowledge of the road runners and gremlins that were on the course. And he had to go. But before the end of our round, a storm came down in a tornado of air. Ended. Ended our trip. Gotta tell you, it was great driving across the country, being land rovers, and living off our own accord. It was a great civic lesson. Driving. It gets my Testa Rosa going. <laughs>